A journalist working for RT's Rapli Video Agency is among the injured as fighting broke out in Ukraine's southeast city of Mariupol. At least two people have been reported killed. According to locals, the unrest began when uh, people attempted to prevent the army from retaking control of the police HQ. The building was being occupied by anti-government activists. And here's the latest footage from Mariupol, and you can see an armored vehicle driving up the street. People are trying to stop its progress, but it's shooting at the unarmed civilians. Women can be heard screaming in the background. Live now to Artis Irina Galushka, who's in the region. Hi there, Irina. So what more do we know at this point? At this point, it does look like there is bloody mayhem on the streets of Mariupol. Unfortunately, it com it coincides with an important day for essentially everybody, uh, not just in Russia, but in, you can say in the entire former Soviet Union, the Victory Day. Now, we do know at this point that for some reason, the Ukrainian army has chosen this precise day to renew its offensive on a city that has been one of the strongholds of the uh, pro-federalization supporters. And these are the reports that we've been getting from eyewitnesses of the events. Let's have a listen. Right now I'm at home, but from my window I can see the smoke in the center of the city. We were planning to have a Victory Day parade. My friend's grandpa is there right now. They are shooting to kill its civilians. Yesterday they surrounded the executive committee building and started shooting at the unarmed activists. Nobody has any weapons there. My friend Kirill was taken. Later we saw a photo of him tied up in a car posted in a social network. We don't know what will happen to him next. I saw tanks and armored vehicles in Mariupol's main street, and they were heading towards the city council building. A lot of people were gathered there. There were also some people approaching the local interior ministry building. And it looks like Ukraine's forces are shooting at the legs of those who are trying to come close to it. I heard about four people were shot. Now, among those who have been shot, of course, is uh, is a journalist working with uh, RT, the video agency, Rupley. He has been wounded in the stomach, and that is despite the fact that the man has been wearing a bulletproof vest. Now, he is in the hospital right now, and doctors are saying that his life is out yeah. of danger. Uh, his wife is there also along with him. She is also a journalist working in the field. However, the situation, of course, in Mariupol is extremely tense. You have to understand be that because of the Victory Day commemoration, a lot of people were out in the center. We're talking about women and children. All of them were there, and there are reports saying that they, that there are crowds along with these people who have been just essentially on the walk. Uh, that the, there are crowds uh, converging around the uh, in local interior ministry building. So the, it does look at this point that the scene could be set for for a disaster to happen. Of course, at this point, we already know that uh, there are reports that several people seem to have been killed. There is no confirmation as of now, but the pictures that we're getting from Mariupol obviously tell uh, a picture of, uh, obviously tell a, a, a tale of uh, something horrible really happening there at the very moment. All right, Artis Irina Galushka live from the region. Irina, thank you very much indeed.